Hey guys, for this final video in this series about our democracy and our issues with it, uh, I'm going to make this a little more informal because it's pretty simple. And I do believe that this situation is not hopeless, and I think that we can change this situation, and it's definitely possible. I always hear a lot of people um, saying it's hopeless, nothing can be done about a lot of situations in this world currently, and I strongly disagree. I mean, there's been much more difficult problems that we have solved than the situation with our current democracy and, and getting it back on track. These are the things that we can do to help the situation. Um, educate yourself and you know watching this series of videos that I just put out is a, is a good start but there's a lot more you can do you can get a lot deeper um, into these issues and really educate yourself and but the hard part and this is the part where I'll admit that I'm not very good at is educating others especially somebody that has very different views than me I, I dislike conflict so I tend to avoid uh, just talking to those people at all um, so that is something that I don't like to do so that's part of the reason I made this channel is to um, do that without having to directly interact with people <laughs> um, and we're not as divided as many people think um, let me show you this Americans are united on a slew of issues despite contentious election seasons. More than 7 in 10 people believe they have more in common with each other than many think. Harvard poll. Um, that's exhibit A. It's interesting. Um, and you start talking about, you start getting into each individual subject here and. Protection of personal data 93%. Of Americans agree that's important. Right to a quality education, 92% agree with that. Um, this report shows 150 issues in which the majority of Americans, Republicans and Democrat, agree. A whole bunch of issues you can get into this, but there's on Social Security, most people like Social Security and want it to continue. Um, energy reduce greenhouse emissions most people want to do that um, yeah you can read through this there's a lot of common ground and I think that's maybe where we need to start the problem is like we have common ground as voters in a lot of areas but one we're kind of pushed apart by the rhetoric out there especially in the media and two the politicians while they might say they or in favor of um, reducing um, the amount of money in politics and things like that. And they generally don't vote that way when they get elected. So that's the other problem. That's where I think we need to get some non-mainstream candidates actually into office. That candidates that actually have views that mirror those of the American citizens. That's, I think, the answer. And I think that it's possible to do. We just gotta get united behind these ideas and find a candidate that meets those those views. Most Americans, again, most Americans want to limit campaign spending. 70% um, of Americans say US economic system unfairly favors the powerful. Most Americans say e economic inequality in the U.S. There, most Americans say there is too much economic inequality in the U.S., but fewer than half call it a top priority. So those are the things. We have a lot of common ground. So we need to vote. We need to find candidates that are not corporate mainstream candidates, especially in the primaries. Fits your views is not beholden to corporate donors. There are a few out there. Uh, if you want, I will show you some. If you guys don't believe me, um, not in this video, but in a future video, just let me know. Find those that have kept their promises and consistently voted to their ideals. So, I, well, for example, like a guy like, no, I'm not saying this is a guy I would vote for, probably isn't a guy I'd vote for, but Ron Paul was very consistent in the way he voted when he was in office. Um, that's one guy that really didn't matter what donors gave to him, he was still going to vote the same way. 
And then consider voting third party. A lot of people don't want to vote third party because it's considered throwing a vote away. But I think when you vote for these corporate insiders to run our country, you're throwing your vote away as well. That's my view. And like I said, I know this series was a bit pessimistic and I like to view myself as an optimist. So in the future, I'll try to do some more optimistic videos. Um, sorry for all the screaming in the background. That's my son. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'm going to shoot this again or not. So it might just be in there. Uh, we'll see you in the next video. Bye.